My name is Stephanie Reynolds and I'm the founder of the Christian Writers Cooperative. And I'm here with you today for our Sunday Week in Review for June 7th through the 14th. Now, uh, usually we just do a week. You may have noticed that June 7th through the 14th is a week and a day. That's because I have been on vacation from June 1st through the 6th and the June 7th was our first wisdom study uh, since my vacation and I wanted to include that one uh, in the week in review that we're going to be doing today. However, uh, another thing that I'm going to be different doing different from the way we usually do things is I'm not even going to be reading one of the wisdom studies I wrote uh, last week. I'm not going to be reading one of those today. We have so many things that we need to talk about today and I've had so many problems <laughs> with my printer that uh, I decided that we would just talk about things today rather than reading one of those wisdom studies uh, today. So if you'd like to read them, they are all online at the Christian Writers Co-op.com and the page is called Visit the CWC Blog and you can read all of those wisdom studies. Uh, I must say so myself, <laughs> if I must say so myself, uh, some of them were, were pretty good. Uh, the Lord really blessed, uh, inspired some good writing, I think. And because there's just so much going on during these times uh, that there's much to write about. <laughs> and so I hope you'll take a take the opportunity to read some of those. But let me move right along. Uh, first, happy flag day. You see, I have my little flag hair piece <laughs> to those. And, and I also, you know, it's also our president's birthday today. And I do want to wish him a happy birthday. I know it probably lost a, the few people right there on that. But uh, America's a great country and Happy birthday, Donald Trump. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. I have a list of things that I wanted to touch on today, uh, so I better get started. Oh, I promised that uh, I would let you know when I got a reply from a ministry, from the ministry of my favorite radio pastor, or radio preacher and teacher. Anyway, I did. I got that. I think it was on Thursday, but I got it sometime last week. And what I really appreciate about it is that they said they were praying for me and that they were also passing my prayer request on to uh, a few other people that promised to continue to pray for me. And, and what I appreciate as much about what they said is what they didn't say. They didn't say, uh, we're sorry, but our our head minister, our head pastor, uh, was not going to have the time to talk to you or to respond to your letter personally. And so I appreciate them not saying that. So there is still hope that I will be hearing uh, personally from the my favorite radio preacher that I sent the letter to uh, last week. So be in prayer for that. Like I said, I'm still hopeful. Uh, also, I'm excited that the paperwork for my insurance claim uh, for my stolen car arrived on Thursday. Now, I was so tired on Thursday, I, I couldn't even think straight, and I thought that they had not given me enough information to fill out the form correctly, but they had. And so I hope to get that done tomorrow, which is Monday, and uh, pay the additional cost of sending it overnight <laughs> so that it'll get there on Tuesday, and hopefully, by the next time I do this Sunday 
uh, weekend review, I'll have some good news for you about that. Now, uh, only God can turn having your car stolen into a good thing. And what's good about it is it provides the funds for me to hire a marketing specialist, uh, a publishing coach, and other people that can help us to meet our new uh, goal for recruiting all 100 writers for the CWC. Uh, the new goal date is September 9th, 2020, which is ooh, just a little shy of two months from today. And uh, when you just say it, the numbers, it's 9-9-2020. And it's, I think it's got a nice beat to it. <laughs> and not only that, but it will leave us with four weeks, almost exactly a month, to... Um, to do all the additional task of publishing that book so that we can meet our goal of publishing the first book of the Christian Writers Co-op by October 8th, 2020. Now, there's some significance to that date uh, besides the fact that it is my 62nd birthday it is the day that my best friend, Mrs. Naomi Walker, uh, she went home to heaven. Uh, that's a nice way of putting it. Uh, more bluntly, she, she passed away. She died. <laughs> and, uh, whew, I have a hard time even talking about it today. But I do, I want to honor Mrs. Naomi Walker for all the work she did. She copyrighted uh, everything I wrote in college and, and uh, it was in college that the Lord started giving me uh, the ideas for uh, the Christian Writers Co-op. And no, I'm not talking about college when I was 18 <laughs> or a youngster. I'm talking about I returned to college uh, at the age of 56 <laughs> and uh, Mrs. Walker helped me with all my papers by proofreading all my papers and every single paper that I wrote was just the Lord giving me another step toward uh, founding the Christian Writers Cooperative and so I just thank God for giving me this idea and I thank Mrs. Walker for being so faithful in copy copywriting oops excuse me proofreading all of those papers that I wrote and uh, again I want to honor her by publishing our first book on the first anniversary of her home going and also dedicating that book to her so please be in prayer for us uh, to get that done to get all 100 uh, Writers, owners of the Christian Writers Co-op, uh, recruited by 9-9-2020. And if you are a Christian writer and you have a dream that you're trying to fund, I hope you'll visit our website and uh, go ahead and submit your your testimony, your personal Christian testimony in 500 to 750 words. That is uh, the application. The first step of applying to be a writer for the Christian Writers Co-op. Uh, also, uh, I created a new page for our website and it's called How to Join the Christian Writers Co-op. Well, it's called How to Join the CWC and it gives you just four simple steps for doing that. Uh, uh, another good thing or something I want to point out about uh, joining the CWC is, yes, there is cost to it, but no, you do not have to send any money to uh, apply. In fact, uh, as I say uh, on the, that webpage, how to join the CWC, we don't ask you for any money until 
way into the process, somewhere six to 13 days into the process. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, you're right for the CWC and that the CWC is right for you. <laughs> and so we are looking for people that are called to this ministry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, it's about ministry. It's, it's not about the money. <laughs> uh, okay, you'll see that a lot when you visit the website. It's about ministry. It's not about the money. <laughs> but uh, even so, we are hoping to sell, and I know people cringe when I say this, but I can boldly say that our goal is to sell millions of books. Uh, you will find in one of the uh, the wisdom studies that I wrote uh, that we are modeled after the best-selling book series in the world. And they have been selling on average 20 million books every single year since 1993. Well, let me correct that. In 1993, they only sold 6 million books, okay? But they have been averaging 20 million books a year since then by uh, publishing 10 to 12 books every year. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, our goal is to match that and to exceed that. And uh, I believe we will because, again... It's not about the money, it's about the ministry. And inside each of our books will be uh, God's plan of salvation. So with every book, say 20 million books, uh, and, it, and probably if people share them, they'll be read by more than 20 million people. Uh, and so that's 20 million people reading the gospel every year. And, uh, oh, one of the things that, uh, that I wrote in my wisdom study yesterday was to introduce latebloomers.net, which is the, you could say, the companion ministry of, of the Christian Writers Cooperative. And the Lord also gave me that idea as I was writing all those essays for college, but, uh, Late Boomers is, it's, uh, it's for people like me. I guess I am the original Late Boomer. And that is that we're getting a really late start to Proverbs 13.22, which says we are to leave an inheritance for our children's children. And so uh, being able to earn a significant, well, what I call a legacy income, only working 10 to 15 hours a week, also gives me a chance to uh, enjoy <laughs> my children's children, uh, to, to have time to enjoy life and to serve the Lord and not just be, you know, spending all my time earning money, but to actual, actually enjoy living the Christian life in the process. And so, wow, I really got kind of far off track, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad I had opportunity to share those things with you. Uh, let's see, what else have I got here? <laughs> oh, I also wanted you to pray, uh, pray for my reaching out to uh, uh, an old friend, a sister in Christ that is now a, let me see, a nationally syndicated radio talk show host. Uh, yes, I used to, uh, something that you could read in the Steph story that starts on our homepage and then it's continued on another page. But uh, I used to publish a 
newsletter called the at home newsletter and it was for christian stay-at-home moms and this was back in the 90s when uh the stay-at-home mom just didn't have a whole lot of friends <laughs> i mean the world was calling women out to to work you know and home staying at home with your kids was not valued very much so uh i wrote this newsletter i published this newsletter and it featured the at-home mom of the month but anyway uh let me move on <laughs> But there was, like I said, this dear friend was a sister in Christ. I think she was selected as one of our uh, at-home moms of the month, but she's now a nationally syndicated talk show host. And I'm hoping that we can uh, reconnect and that she will be as supportive of the Christian Writers Co-op as she was of at-home ministries. Uh, so please join me in praying for that. I'll probably reach out to her on Tuesday and hopefully, uh, I can have something to report back to you again by this time next Sunday. And so I think that's it. I've covered everything that I wanted to cover today. I hope you'll get a chance to read, uh, go back and read some of the uh, wisdom studies from June 7th through today, <laughs> uh, especially the one yesterday, uh, the one for uh, June 13th, which does talk about or introduces late boomers that net to you uh, which is based on proverbs 13 22 uh, to leave an inheritance for our children's children and uh, that's part of my dream and part of the reason why i'm doing uh the christian writers cooperative so uh I know that's kind of contradictory to my saying in this video several, several times, it's not about the money. <laughs> and again, it's, it's not, but money is a very good measure of success. And my goal is to be successful in doing that, which the Lord has called me to do, which is to fund my dream to leave an inheritance for my son and for his children, and also to fund the dreams of the God-given dreams of a hundred other Christians. So, wow, I've talked on for almost 18 minutes now. Uh, it's been good, it's been great. Uh, thanks so much for viewing this video and I will talk to you again on Wednesday and again in the meantime please take a look at the wisdom studies on the christianwriterscoop.com good night